The arrival of a United Nations regional force in South Sudan will enable the United Nations mission in the country, UNMIS, to free up additional peacekeepers to mount more patrols along insecure roads, the head of the mission, David Shearer, has said. Mr. Shearer, who is also the special representative of the United Nations Secretary General in South Sudan, was speaking in Juba following the arrival over the weekend of the first 120 soldiers of the Rwandan Battalion of the Regional Protection Force, RPF. The RPF was mandated by the UN Security Council with a maximum troop strength of 4,000 and will bolster the mission's capacity to deter violence and protect civilians in the South Sudanese capital, Juba. The 15-member council authorized the force in the wake of the violence in Juba in July 2016. A Nepalese high readiness uh, company of, is, is already in, in place and over 100 Bangladeshi engineers have arrived into the mission area uh, as well. The arrival of these contingents as well as the Rwandan company of peacekeepers marks the beginning of the phased deployment of the RPF that will eventually number up to 4,000 troops. The remaining Rwandan peacekeepers who are part of the, our main battalion will be arriving in the next few weeks and the paperwork is being currently processed by the South Sudanese government. And the arrival of the Ethiopian battalion uh, is imminent. According to Mr. Shira, some 600 additional Rwandan peacekeepers will arrive in the next few weeks. They will be based in Juba and will operate, if necessary, in surrounding areas. UNMIS is always and consistently assessing its priorities. Having additional troops means we can carry out more tasks related to our mandate to protect civilians and build durable peace. For example, it will enable us to put more patrols along insecure roads where there have been attacks on civilian vehicles, such as on the Juba Mimili Road and on the Juba Boar Road. A number of attacks have taken place along these routes. In the latest, five people were reportedly killed last week when a convoy was attacked by armed men near Moli village, a known trouble spot on the Juba Nimule road. Expressing his condolences, Mr. Shira said, insecurity for civilians remains a challenge. All our peacekeepers strive to be robust, to be nimble, and to be proactive in the duties that they carry out. As we know, fighting still persists in the country and insecurity for civilians remains a constant and real challenge. Extra peacekeepers means that we can better protect the people of South Sudan and help build that, build that durable peace that we are looking for. The RPF troops will be based in Juba and will operate, if necessary, in the surrounding areas as per the mandate authorized by the UN Security Council and will carry out its functions in cooperation with the government as also expressed by the Security Council resolution. The RPF is not a separate UN peacekeeping force, but will be under the command of the UNMIS force commander, Lieutenant General Frank Kamanzi of Rwanda, who will report to the mission head, David Shearer.